distortion has been more of um, thoughts that people are out to get me. Schizophrenia is a serious psychiatric illness that is present in about 1% of the human population. It's characterized by a loss of contact with reality and is one of the top 10 causes of disability worldwide. It causes untold suffering and is present in a significant number of homeless people. Current medications help to reduce some of the symptoms of schizophrenia, but they do not address the underlying cognitive and neural impairments that we now know characterize the illness and they do very little to improve long-term functional outcome. Hi, I'm Sophia Vinogradov and I'm a professor of psychiatry at UCSF. I'm interested in the cognitive deficit of impaired reality monitoring in schizophrenia, which is when someone has difficulty distinguishing between internally generated information from externally experienced information. I left my house at 2 in the morning, a plane flew over, uh, where I was standing at the time outside of my house. It was so low and the way it was flying it shook the ground mm -hmm. and my thought was that it was a UFO mm -hmm. and I, if I went back in my house the people inside the house wouldn't be the same people that they had been replaced. In this study we investigated whether the behavioral and neural correlates of impaired reality monitoring in schizophrenia could be improved through an innovative approach to treatment which is the use of computerized cognitive training exercises that would address some of the underlying basic component cognitive processes that our prior research has shown contributes to impaired reality monitoring in schizophrenia. Hi, I'm Karuna Subramaniam. I'm a postdoc at UCSF and I would like to take you through the overall study design of the reality monitoring task as well as some of the data highlights. In terms of the overall study design, we had 15 healthy comparison subjects and 31 subjects with schizophrenia who were scanned using fMRI while they performed a reality monitoring task at baseline. After baseline testing, subjects with schizophrenia were randomly assigned either to an active training condition or a computer games controlled condition for 80 hours over 16 weeks. After 16 weeks, subjects were rescanned using fMRI while they performed a second reality monitoring task in the scanner. Now, the reality monitoring task is designed to evaluate an individual's ability to distinguish between a word that he or she made up that is self-generated information from a word that the experimenter presented, that is externally presented information. We used fMRI to examine neural activation patterns associated with these successful reality monitoring decisions. In terms of fMRI reality monitoring activity, when we contrasted correctly identified self-generated versus externally presented information, we found that the healthy comparison subjects showed greatest signal increase within the medial prefrontal cortex, which is a region that supports self-referential processes. However, by contrast, the subjects with schizophrenia showed no activity within the medial prefrontal cortex, but rather showed activation within the posterior cingulate cortex, which is a region implicated in visual attention processes. Now, after baseline testing, subjects with schizophrenia were randomly assigned either to active training or to a computer games control condition. After 80 hours, subjects within the active training condition showed significant improvement at identifying more self-generated information and showed marginal improvement at identifying more externally presented information compared to baseline. In terms of fMRI activity, we, we performed one way within subject ANOVAS in order to compare reality monitoring activity before and after intervention. Only subjects in the active training group showed significant signal increase within the MPFC after training compared to baseline. Interestingly, this greater recruitment of MPFC signal after, after training compared to baseline also predicted better social functioning six months later. So taken together, what these results suggest is that 80 hours of computerized auditory, visual, and social cognitive processes result in significant behavioral improvement on an untrained reality monitoring task, which is associated with an increase in NPFC signal, which in turn predicts better social functioning six months later.